Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about how to multiply in scientific notation. You can get the worksheet we use in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. Here we are at our first problem for multiplying scientific notation, and we have to multiply our two numbers written in scientific notation together. When multiplying numbers in scientific notation, you are going to multiply the two coefficients together. So in this case, our coefficients are 9 and 2, so we will multiply these together. And then you will add the exponents of 3 and 5. So just like if you were to follow the rule for multiplying exponents, if we wanted to multiply 10 to the third times 10 to the fifth, we would keep the base of 10, and then we would add 3 plus 5, which would equal 10 to the eighth. So you will follow this same rule when multiplying numbers in scientific notation. Let's go ahead and solve our first problem. 9 times 10 to the third times 2 times 10 to the fifth. So like we already said, we have to multiply the coefficients together. So we're going to do 9 times 2 because we're multiplying. And that's going to be times, and then we have our two powers of 10, which are 10 to the third and 10 to the fifth. So that will be times 10 to the 3 plus 5 because we have to add the exponents. 9 times 2 is 18 times 10 to the 3 plus 5 which is 8. Now 18 times 10 to the eighth is the result of multiplying these together. However, 18 is not in scientific notation. This coefficient here has to be in between 1 and 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our decimal, we're going to move it to the left once, and then we're going to add 1 to the exponent. Every time you move the decimal to the left, you will add to the exponent. So for example, if we had to move the decimal two times, we would add 2 to the exponent. But in this case, we only have to move the decimal one time to make a number in between 1 and 10. So we only add 1 to the exponent. So after we move the decimal one time, it becomes 1.8 times 10 to the 8 plus 1, which is 9th power. So our final solution is 1.8 times 10 to the 9th power. Number 4 gives us 4.2 times 10 to the 1st times 6.5 times 10 to the 9th. So we already know that when we multiply in scientific notation, we're going to take our coefficients and we're going to multiply them together. So we're going to do 4.2 times 6.5 times our power of 10, which is 10 to the 1st, plus 9, because this one's 10 to the 9th. We will do 4.2 times 6.5, which is 27.3, times 10 to the 1 plus 9, which is 10. Now once again, our coefficient here has to be in between 1 and 10. So we have to take our decimal and move it left once so that it becomes 2.73, which is in between 1 and 10, and then add 1 to the exponent because we move the decimal to the left. So this will become 2.73 times 10 to the 10 plus 1 power, which is the 11th. And this is going to be our final solution. The last problem we're going to do to show you how to multiply in scientific notation is number 5. This problem gives us 3 times 10 to the 15th times 8 times 10 to the 12th. So once again, we will multiply our coefficients together. We'll do 3 times 8 times our power of 10, which in this case is 10 to the 15th and 10 to the 12th. So 10 to the 15 plus 12. 3 times 8 is 24 times 10. And then our power is going to be 15 plus 12, which is 27. And then our coefficient here is 24. That is not in between 1 and 10, so we have to move the decimal from 24 to 2.4 so that it's in between 1 and 10. And then because we move the decimal left once, we will add 1 to our exponent. So this will become 2.4 times 10 to the 28th power, which is our answer. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.